I, 24 F, believe my husband M26, is emotionally cheating. My husband and I have been married for three and a half years. When we got married I ran my own company and made a lot more money than he did. No that didn't matter to him slash us, two years and he was required to move, active duty, across the country, from one coast to the other coast. We talked and I agreed to close my business, follow him, and go back to school while he was there for three years. Essentially be a housewife slash full-time online student. This move happened during the start of COVID. This move also occurred shortly after I was injured and now I have a chronic injury that will never heal slash need surgery and I deal with extreme amounts of pain daily from. I hated where we moved, I was depressed, gaining weight, he would go on trainings for months at a time, I was alone and in pain handling school and looking into new careers that I could leave easily for him. We had bought a house. We had new pets. I handled all of our house and financials while he was off training. Then I snapped a year in. I couldn't do it anymore. The waiting at home for my husband life didn't work for me. I needed to be more productive. So we talked, he saw how badly I was doing, and we agreed to me moving back to my coast and trying out a new career without him, and find a place I want to be and he would follow to complete his own schooling, to go officer. So I did. And I was thriving, finally making gal friends, a new career I enjoyed, an apartment with an amazing view where I felt at home and in love with. But our relationship struggled. He got distant. He had promised to write me letters, he likes to write, and never did. We had promised to do remote dates, and the only time I had tried to schedule it he managed to mess up and not book tickets on his end in time so I watched a movie alone. We talked daily, but less and less. Then I had an emergency move to help my family business a month in. I uphauled my entire life in my new city in less than 24 hours to move back to where my family business runs, my family runs it remotely and doesn't live nearby it so I was leaving my friends to go somewhere I'd be all alone again. I lived in hotels and finally got a new apartment. My chronic injury was flaring up. The new job required 12 to 18 hour days to repair what damage a previous manager had done. But my pay was amazing again. And then my discussions with my husband became bored. He didn't put in effort. There was no romance, no flirting, no long phone calls or video calls. There hadn't been since I left but I began to bring it up at this point. We agreed to have him visit for the holidays. Then he came to visit and it was tense. We've never been a couple who fights, but we did argue. He kept putting himself down for not trying hard enough but then not change or do what he said he would to help the relationship. Then suddenly he claimed that if you want a divorce that's fine, maybe I've been done for a few weeks too. That stuck with me, even though we made up and pretended to be okay for a few days after that. So I did a bad thing and went through his phone. I had shown up from work and he was passed out drunk, my house a mess, no chores done, and I snapped. I wanted to see what happened a few weeks ago. So I find a conversation he's been having with a prior military female, married, he used to work with, who lives on my coast actually so there is still the time difference. Nothing sexual, no I love slash like yous. But just deeply personal and emotional conversations about dead family members and childhood problems. Things I didn't even know about my husband. Then I see the text complaining about me. Falsely represented information to gain sympathy from her. Supposedly I've been on antidepressants and was a nightmare when I got off of them. The truth was that I had anti-anxiety medication I tried for a month so that I could conquer my fear of flying to be able to visit him while he was on a training. Supposedly he needs to pay off $10,000 of my credit card debt, the reality is I moved my entire life for him, no longer had an income, and went to school out of pocket, while he continued living life as if my income was still there. I bought so little for myself while he got whatever he wanted whenever he wanted. And to top it all off in the middle of these conversations they would call each other. Our long conversations at a time. All sorts of times. Longer and more often than he ever did for me. By an extreme amount, he was always too busy or tired to talk for more than 10 or so minutes. So I called him out on it. He claims it's not emotional cheating because he sees her platonically and like a sister all of a sudden and feels bad for her. Then I asked him to think of it from my perspective and from my shoes, 
after an hour of thinking to himself he now sees it could look bad and that he would ask me to delete her and block her from his life. Which honestly, I don't feel the need to do. Maybe I'm over the relationship, or I'm just not vindictive. I'd prefer he call her and admit he lied and skewed things to gain sympathy from her and that his actions so far, while not sexual from what the texts show, are still inappropriate between two adult married individuals. But I don't know how to move forward in the relationship. He leaves in a week and there is nothing stopping him from going back and doing it all again and it may be even getting worse. TLDR, husband is maintaining a text and phone call emotional relationship with a married prior co-worker female, though not sexual, they still have discussed extremely personal things. Not sure how to move forward. Comments. All I'll say is please get a grip on your work, your income and your lifestyle. You'll need your economic stability the most going ahead. Considering your illness and what you're going through in your marriage, you're still young and have a lot to go though. I might sound insensitive and I'm sorry but please prepare yourself for the worst. Even if you and your husband end up going separate ways make sure you don't flinch even a bit financially. If we put aside your relationship for a moment, your health is deteriorating both physical as well as mental and this lifestyle is taking a toll on both your career and social life. Second story my, 28, husband, 32, doesn't trust me. I don't mean in the sense that he thinks I'm cheating. I mean that he doesn't trust me with important parts of his life. I don't think I've ever given him reason not to, or if I did he's never told me that I have. But for some reason he's extremely guarded and only keeps things superficial with me. We've been married for a few years now and he's the love of my life, truly, I've never met a man who's treated me better. But when I ask him about, say, his insecurities or kinks, he answers in a way that doesn't give too much information or tells me not to worry about it. I feel like I share everything with him, every feeling and emotion, every insecurity and vulnerable feeling, he, on the other hand, keeps me at arm's length. An example of this would be the fact that he was up for a promotion a few months ago. The company he works for conducted interviews spanning a few weeks and it came down to him and another person. He lost and I didn't find out until he took me to a dinner party and it came up in conversation. Another example would be the fact that his grandma died. He was extremely close to his grandparents, to the point of calling them mom and dad in addition to his actual parents. But I didn't find out until a few days before the funeral because he had to go out of town. I mean seriously, how do you grieve someone so important to you in silence? He didn't even seem sad. I wouldn't have been able to guess something was going on with him because he carried himself as if nothing was wrong. I've never seen him cry, or complain about aches and pains. Hell, if he's stressed out at work, I'd be happy to help him out by taking on the bulk of chores or just being there for him yet, he never gives me the opportunity. The crazy part is that he's so attentive to my needs, he knows when I'm down, and he knows how to pick me back up. I always feel safe to express myself around him because I know, at the end of the day, he'll do what he can to help me out? I'm just confused as to why he doesn't feel the same way. I'm asking for advice on how to understand him better, not leave him, so please, don't tell me to get a divorce. TLDR, my husband doesn't lean on me like I do on him, and I want to understand why. Comments Middle dot Sounds like he's afraid to be vulnerable around you, and that's a big issue. In relationships there should be a majority of transparency, and if he's hiding things like that, I think it's more about how he doesn't want to deal with it and just slide it under the rug, but it will most definitely affect him and the relationship. I suggest couples counseling, he needs to open up and be honest with you.